This is John Schott from NutriWay and today I'm very excited to bring you into my kitchen because I love to share the message of using food as medicine. The idea behind it is to set up a very strong foundation in your kitchen and the superstar is always going to be the ingredients and the actual material you're using. Things like green vegetables, lots of vegetables into the diet is very important. Ridge pigmented fruits like raspberries and wild blueberries. Things like purple cabbage that have dark pigments that are very, very good for the body. We're going to incorporate mushrooms and things from the mushroom family, squashes, things from the allium family like garlic and onions which are very rich in sulfur. Cherry tomatoes that are very nice and nutrient dense because of their compact nutrient profiles. Lemons which are very cleansing. We're moving away from things that are genetically modified, made in a laboratory that have an excessive amount of preservatives. We're also going to incorporate a lot of unique foods that most of us don't usually use, like nuts and seeds, like pumpkin seeds that are rich in zinc, Brazil nuts that are actually a wild nut that are very rich in selenium and are very powerful for the immune system. Every single item that we're choosing in this kitchen has a purpose. We also want to be extremely mindful of how we cook. Things like using the right oils and the right fats for cooking is extremely important. So we're going to use things that are very stable when we're cooking, like coconut oil, which is a very stable fat and has a lot of nutritional properties. Grass-fed uh, ghee, which is clarified butter. First cold pressed olive oil, which ideally you want to use raw because of the type of fatty acid profile it has. Things like apple cider vinegar with the mother intact, which means it has, it's, it's a living uh, vinegar that has probiotics in it. Also, we're going to incorporate obviously a good quality form of protein. Wild is usually best. Things like wild salmon that are very rich in omega-3 fatty acids. Um, we're going to uh, use things that are coming ideally from the wild again, like wild games like bison or grass-fed lamb that's coming from a healthy animal that's eating their natural diet. Healthy cooking doesn't have to be boring. It doesn't have to be bland. It's actually very creative, but at the same time, make it practical. Make it something that you're actually going to do. Make it something your kids are going to eat. These are the staples and the foundation that we're going to establish for this kind of cuisine and for this particular series on how we're going to build using these amazing foods into a culinary experience that is fantastic, delicious, and easy to apply at home. Uh -huh.